Hi everyone, I'm Efshel of Glass Ecology, Hand Painted Designs. Today, I'm going to talk about Glass Ecology. Let's talk about the word Glass Ecology first. Glass Ecology is actually a term I just coined. And if you look at the dictionary, it's not there. It's not in the dictionary. But you can also find it in other uh, artists because they use it as their own term when they also do art with glass. So for me, glass ecology is simply about doing art with glass. I coined the word because my real goal is to be able to do glass blowing. But since it's not really possible for me or it's not feasible for me to do this at this time, uh, I'm settling myself in glass painting, but I want to call it glass ecology. Alright, so now let's talk about the glass I, I use. So, I use I use flat glasses. They also call these float glasses. Okay, so this one is just a, an ordinary glass. We also have the tempered one. It's easier to cut the ordinary glasses. And there are different thickness. This is uh, one fourth inch thick. I also have we also have a uh, one eighth inch thick, and then there are much thicker ones. The ones that you use for buildings, for your windows, for your glass doors. I also use the glass vessels. So these are the martini glasses, the cups. The bowls, plates, so those are the glass vessels. Glass painting is not really unusual, especially in the Western Hemisphere. It's not really also new in the Philippines, but I think it's safe to say that you can only find a few number of glass painters in our country. Artists are very hesitant to paint on glass because of the paint. It's really tricky and we can use different types of paint but the question is what would stick on glass? Now, let's talk about paint. You can use a lot of different types of paint on glass but let's talk about everything that you can use. You can use acrylic but with acrylic you really need to use an oven to cure it faster. Or maybe the sun when it's summer it's really nice to cure paint naturally I also want to try stained glass but again I still don't have the means to do it it's really different from the glass painting that we, we do for my crafter friends from you bots they gave me this as a gift so this is a set of stained glass paint and it comes with a black liner and this colors so when you apply it on glass it looks transparent okay. initially when I started glass ecology I did my own research according to the internet the best paint to use for glass is the folk art enamel so it is actually, they also call it folk art acrylic enamel. Okay, uh, these are available in matte like this, uh, in neon colors, they also have the metallic colors. And this, I thought I could only buy this online, but I actually, this set, I actually bought this from an art store in Mega Mall. So if you want to try, you may uh, want to check out the store in Mega Mall. The paint that I really use up until now, ever since I started glass ecology, is enamel paint. The ones that you can buy at the hardware store. So for example, these are the ones that I use. Alright, so here's a tip. Maybe you already know this, but sometimes we want to seal our paint using a uh, clear uh, spray paint okay but here is something that you should always remember when you use acrylic for example and then you want to seal it make sure the sealant is also acrylic okay 
if it's enamel, make sure the sealant is also enamel. I actually did this before. So, I painted using enamel and then it's very rare to find enamel clear gloss. I used acrylic. So, it really reacts. Okay? It crumples. Uh, and you don't really want that with your paint. So, just one tip. Okay? If you like this video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I do hold workshops public and private. If you want to book Glassicology workshops, please comment below or you can message me on Instagram at Glassicology. Also on Facebook, Glassicology by F Shell. If you have other ideas, you have questions about glass painting, just leave a comment below and I will try to answer that in the next video. That's it you guys. Thank you for watching.